my brothers and my sisters out there in the struggle. How y'all doing? Happy New Year. Okay, what are we doing? We're starting off the new year. Right, starting the new year off tight. So what are we doing? A combination of mail call. Matter of fact, we're going to be unpackaging a book and uh, we got mail call we have also the last set of books that I picked up for no we picked up not actually not the last set of books but the books that I picked up on the last day of 2021 that's what I meant to say okay so we're starting off with store pickups splatter number eight from north star comics 1993 it's basically splatter is basically a bunch of edgelord jank you know what i'm saying you know you know that that edgelord stuff from like the 90s from you know early 90s edgelord stuff you know you, you know what i'm talking about this is no different but i will say this cover here is a standout and as a matter of fact so we picked this up for i want to say I, I think about three or four dollars so we got this for close very close to cover price and uh, this book here splatter number eight which features a clown which looks a lot like the joker you know what i'm saying just a, a very nutso even more nutso version of the joker um this this cover here goes off and on for about fifty dollars i know there was a copy that sold for about that much uh online and there are copies and the only copies available are 70 to 60 dollar copies so yeah we found the we found a nice little deal here splatter number eight from 1993 uh found this for cover price deadpool number 10. the price on this is a little wonky there are copies that have sold for 30. there have copy there have been copies recently that have sold for i think like six bucks or maybe even i think even yeah, around that much, and then back up to 30. I, I don't know. This is a weird one. I believe this is the final issue in the series. Uh, good looking cover featuring Jeff the Land Shark. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, what's next? What are we going to do next? What the heck is next? Let's do this here. Let's do this here. So. Has anybody been paying attention to this book here? Uh, Incredible Hulk number 156, first appearance of Kylar. First appearance of Kylar. All right, let's open this thing up. Let's open up the lowest grade copy and see what's going on with this thing. Okay, so uh, there is a rumor that Kylar. Uh, the funny thing about Kylar is that he, this is like his only appearance because he dies in this issue. Grand, grand opening, grand closing. So let's see if we can find this guy. Uh, we are bringing this video to a grinding halt. Okay, so is this the guy? I don't, yeah, okay, so. When I did the uh, the fandom wiki research, okay, so this is the guy right here, and it's rumored, like in the in the descriptions in the eBay titles, it's all uh, Bill Bill Murray cast and it's all in question marks you know what i'm saying and that character kind of looked like bill murray in green <laughs> which is kind of uh which is kind of interesting but yeah i okay so i found okay so this store that i went to it was a half off sale 
and uh, the price tags on these were what 18 and 16 so I definitely didn't pay that I pay so I got this one for nine and I got this one for eight so and at the time that I in the time that at uh, at the time that I bought them uh, you know they were just going for maybe maybe 30 maybe 50 but that could have that could have just nosedived by the end of the day you know what I'm saying but when I uh, got home from work later that night uh, I noticed that this book really went like that uh, there were copies going what for well over a hundred dollars you know like a hundred and like uh, I want to say there was a copy going for like that sold for a hundred and fifty and none too dissimilar condition you know to like this one but yeah for, for easy easy going uh going for an easy hundred you know what i'm saying so i'm like oh, okay all right so for the time being for the time being these were decent purchases okay um ba, 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 ba. and uh what more did i want to say about this did i mention kylar may 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 or may not be a character in the ant-man movie uh played by bill murray i don't know but in the ebay descriptions <laughs> bill murray <laughs> in question marks <laughs> two copies of superman number 189 from 2003 all right cool 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 uh so this is the first appearance of tracy 13 and here's something you need to look out for when you're buying your copies uh, and i noticed this book is doing a little something i noticed which is good so these were so the price tag on these were three so i paid a dollar fifty each so when you're doing your shopping looking for this there is a an insert for wwe stuff so and then you have uh, a subscription, a subscription thing for um, WWE magazine. But mainly, you have this little insert for WWE shop. Okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure that's not clipped out, because it may be considered incomplete. But yeah, what more did I want to say about this? Oh, you know what? I should I should just show you the character. Let's show you the character. Come on. Uh, so this is the... So the, here is Tracy 13. Oh, and the significance of this character is that she is... Ooh, what's up? What, 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 what you wearing? Ew. Ew. But uh, the significance of this character is that uh, this is... I guess you can say Blue Beetle's... Lois Lane, that's his uh, main squeeze. How about that? So it's a pretty good chance she will show up in live action at some point in time. But uh, yeah, got these for a dollar fifty a piece. Daredevil fifteen. Uh, so this is the issue where uh, what? What's her face? Echo shoots the kingpin. All right. I, I actually saw a copy before. At another store for like four dollars but i didn't want to pay four dollars but i'll pay two because uh i got that for half price uh thanos imperative three all right got that for two bucks uh what more did i want to say also we got uh oh ooh! i can't believe i found another copy of this check this out Check that out. We've got another copy. Cartoon Network Action Pack number two. Cartoon Network Action Pack number two. First appearance of Ben 10 in comics. Uh, we found this for three bucks. So basically cover price. Actually, nah, a little bit more cover price. How about that? But uh, yeah, we found another one. We found another one. Actually, no, it was cover price. 
it was cover price. So yeah, we got ourselves another one. Yeah. So make that two. Uh, I noticed that this book here is going for roughly uh, 70 to 100 bucks. All right. I'm cool with that. I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> Cartoon Network action pack. <laughs> and on top of that, um, another point uh, that I wanted to make about this was that uh, this book here, uh, the print run is less than 2000. Uh, according to Comicron, this is around an 1800 print run, print run book. And since it's a kid's book, you know, it's a pretty good chance a lot of these were destroyed, manhandled, mistreated, written on, shit on, used as, <laughs> used to wipe, used to wipe some baby butts or something like that. You know what I mean? It's a pretty good chance uh, a lot of these have not survived. And, uh, and when it comes to a, what, an 1800 print run on something like this, and it's a first appearance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sky's the limit. All right, what's next? What's next? Now, let's get into, so, these, oh, 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 oh. Also, Strange Academy number 14, first appearance of Gas Lamp. All right, found that for cover price. All right, whatever. All right, next up, next up, next up right, is the mail call stuff. So... Let's open, let's open you up. Let's see what's doing. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Do, 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 do. And I gotta say, okay, so I paid uh, roughly $28 shipped for this. Um, and I gotta say, I'm really impressed because uh, for a comic book to come priority like this that's that's impressive all right oh my gosh it's like performing surgery when there's this much tape when there's this much tape it's like playing a game of operation well packaged okay all righty oh my gosh it's like a freaking russian nesting doll come on all right We're performing more surgery Let's see what I got. I don't want to mess anything up too bad. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. So, and this is stuck. I, I got to be honest with you. Sometimes there is too much tape. Like people think they're being like safe with all this fucking tape. You're not. Trust me. You're not. It it it, it hurts more than it helps with all the tape. Because it mushes things down and it causes the uh, it causes the person opening the package to maybe do something, you know, to hurt the book or to bend it and to squish it or whatever. All right, so what did I pick up? Do, 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 do. So we have Green Lantern number twenty one newsstand. I don't know why I really really wanted this book so uh, a pre in a previous video i talked about this character here uh, this is a uh, green lantern lost army number three this is the uh, i believe this is a one in 25 variant and this features the it has a cover appearance of a character named two six and this is her she's basically a, like a green lantern recruit at the time but I like this character. I like her. I like her. And uh, this is her first appearance in Green Lantern number 21. And I found myself a newsstand copy for roughly $28 shipped. So, yeah. And, and it came priority. And the condition on this is pretty, let's see, it's pretty damn solid. I like it. All right. I for some reason I'll pay up for like a first appearance and it's a new stand. I don't know why, I just will. But uh yeah. And and this book really doesn't go for anything, but I just wanted it, so it's out of the way. Just in case. And another point about the Green Lanterns. Another point about the Green Lanterns. 
Um, it, these were like the Green Lanterns. They were like the Jedi before the Jedi. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we have a Green Lan- a live action Green Lantern, don't don't skip, don't skimp, don't don't. I hope DC and Warner Brothers they don't they don't half ass it. Make it make it position it like a kind of like a Star Wars type deal. You know what I'm saying? These guys are like Jedi's, man, the Green Lanterns. All right, anyway, <laughs> we're moving on. Okay, I picked this book up a long time ago and I'm just now getting around to showing it. I got this for like I think $9 shipped. So we have Archie number 17. This is a Tula Lote variant. Uh, I just liked it. Nothing more to it than that. Featuring featuring uh, Cheryl Blossom. Uh, I believe I paid $55 for this. Uncanny Avengers number one. This is the, I believe this is the, uh, one in 50 Eddie Granoff variant, right? Right, right, right. Uh, what is this? Uh, what what did I want to say about this? This book is going up in price. This book is going up, 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 up. Uh, roughly to what? I, I I remember the time when this book wasn't going for that much. Around the time of the Scarlet Witch TV show, it was going up. And then after the Scarlet Witch TV show, it went down. But now we have... Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, where we have what's her face uh, as a main character, and it went back up. I'm like, okay, sweet. But uh, what more did I want to say about this? Uh, what is this? Like maybe a hundred, hundred twenty-five dollar book, something like that, something like that. Uh, this is something that I figured I would splurge on just for the hell of it. This is from a few months ago. Dick Tracy, number 50, from 1952. I talked about this book uh, a couple of months ago. And what I like about this, it's a Joe Simon cover, the co-creator of Captain America. And look at this. Look at this. Pre-code. Look at this. This is a... This is an... What's what's the word I'm looking for? It's gory, but it's it's a covertly gory cover. How about that? So a guy shoots himself in the head and you're seeing the bullet come out of his head. Oh my gosh. You, you see the bullet hole and the bullet come out of it. Wow. So how much did I get this for? I think I paid like 113 or something like that, but it's a really nice, high-grade uh, Golden Age book, so I'm like, ah, you know what, I like it, I like the subject matter of the cover, so let's go ahead and pick it up. All right, what's next? What's next? G.I. Joe. G. G.I. Joe is the code name. I love saying that, but uh, what, did, what did I want to say about this? I believe, now this is a few months ago. This is from a few months ago. Uh, I want to say I paid around, I want to say I paid, I think, 50 to $60 for this. And it's in really, really, really nice high grade. I, I, I remember for a time that G.I. Joe number one was going for a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot. I'm, I'm not sure about now, but for 50 to $60... Why not? So, yeah, G.I. Joe number one from 1982. First print. Uh, let's talk about this one. I like this. So we have Avengers Arena number three. This is a one in 50 variant. I paid, I think I paid like 12 bucks for this. And I got this, um, I got this at an online, at an online shop. I got this from an online shop. And I don't know. I just figured Avengers Arena is a title that's kind of coming into its own and where I can find these one in 50 variants cheap. I'm going to go ahead and buy them. You know what I'm saying? Like if I can find I, I had shown off, I believe 
uh, I think it was either number three or number five, I, or rather number four or number five of the one in twenty five or the one in fifty variant for like twenty five bucks in a previous video. I was all over it when I saw it, and this is no exception. The cover, I like the colors on it. <laughs> I like the colors and the composition. The art's a little wonky, but everything else, everything else kind of everything else kind of works you know what i'm saying so we got that for 12 bucks Ooh, take a look at this i'm really excited by this look at this check this out so we got a another copy of batman beyond number one yeah look at that yeah so we got this uh a couple of months ago for i think Ah, gosh. Uh, from what I remember, eighty-nine dollars. So we got this for eighty-nine bucks, if that. I, th I think I, I think I might have gotten it for maybe even cheaper. But uh, yeah, really excited when I saw it. It was like a buy it now or best offer. I just immediately clicked buy it now. That's how you got to do it. You, you're not gonna haggle on a price that great. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Batman Beyond number one. Uh, there was a really nice high-grade raw copy that just sold uh, December 31st for over $700. And I'm talking raw. I've never seen that before, especially on a Batman Beyond number one. I don't know if there was a fuckery or flood or not, but that was, that, that was a spectacular price for a raw copy. Uh, is this book here in, you know, near mint condition? Uh, I, I would say probably near mint minus. It's near mint adjacent. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not perfect, but for 89 bucks, hell, no, will I not pass it up? You know what I'm mean? saying? So yeah, man. Batman Beyond number one. Okay, we're moving on. Oh, there was also a. It came with a poster. <laughs> came with a poster but uh the main selling point was that all right what's next patsy walker hellcat number three i believe this is a one in 25 variant uh i think i paid 14 dollars for this all right okay all right champions number 19 okay i don't know i had severe fomo when it came to this book i bought this i want to say over the summer and i'm just now getting around to showing it off Champions number 19, second print, first appearance of Snow Guard. And I don't know, I, I, I believe I paid $30 ship for it. And that's about it. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I just, I'm like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. And I got it. And it took me damn near six months to show it off. And last, and maybe even least, I don't know. Deadpool, Black, White, and Blood, number three, one in 25, Stan Sakai variant. Uh, got two copies. I don't know why. I just figured the creator of Usagi Yojimbo doing Deadpool, uh, I, I, that's, a, that's a can't lose proposition. Am I right? Am I, am I the crazy one? What's going on? So I bought two copies. I think these were like $30 a piece. And it turns out I should have bought four. I should have bought number four. Not I shouldn't have bought four copies of this, but I should have bought the variant for number four. Okay, all right, whatever, whatever. So that one is like a first appearance. But uh, yeah, all right, we're moving. No, there is nothing to move on to. We're done. We're done, everybody. But uh, yeah, so we got ourselves a Batman Beyond number one. Another one. We got ourselves another one. Hold on. Hold on, check this out. Check this out. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Is it here? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where you at? Oh, here we go. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. That'll go very nicely with uh, my 9-8 that I have. And I got another raw copy kicking around somewhere, but I got to find it. But yeah, that's my haul. I'm sticking to it. Happy New Year, everybody. And we will see you at...
the swap meet tomorrow. All right, bye.